have a question for you. Where did you come from? Now, I know you came from your mom and dad, but I mean big picture. Where did you come from? I had one guy tell me we're, everybody here initially was brought here by people from another planet, by aliens. I don't think so. A lot of people believe that we came from evolution and primates and way back there. I don't think so. I like the biblical explanation. I like it, <laughs> the truth that Genesis 1, 27 says, So God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created him male and female. Where did you come from? You were created by God. That gives you value and meaning and purpose. But beyond that, God said in Jeremiah chapter 1, he says that you were known by God. He says, I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I set you apart before you were born. I appointed you. You see, God knew you. God cared about you. God was interested in you even before you appeared in your mother's womb. That's amazing. It gets even better. Psalm 139 says this, You, God who created my inner parts, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, O God, because I have been remarkably and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know this very well. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. All my days were written in your book and planned out before a single one of them began. You not only were created by God and known by God, but your very existence was planned by God and actually prescribed by God. The God who can't help but know everything knew what your life would be about. You have meaning. You have purpose. There's a God who, who knows you and cares about you. And in fact, we read later on that it says that you were created and purposed with a plan to do good works. It says in Ephesians chapter 2, For we are his creation, his masterpiece, his mastercraft, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time so that we would walk in them. God gave you a purpose, and that's to do good works. You say, well, how will I know what that is? Well, you go back two verses, and it says this, For by grace you've been saved through faith. It's not of yourselves, it's God's gift. It's not from works, so no one can boast. You see, you get to, to really experience what all this means when you get saved. And what it talks about being saved, it talks about being saved from your sins. Trusting Jesus Christ, God's Son and God the Son, who lived a sinless life and died for you on the cross and rose again from the dead, that that paid for your sins and brought you into a relationship with God. So everything that God has planned for you, everything God has prescribed for you, everything God has purposed for you is now available to you through Christ Jesus. So, where did you come from? You came from God, and you came for God to please God, and that all happens when you get to know God. Why don't you cry out to God even right now? God, I want to know you. If you haven't been saved, cry out to God. Oh, I cry out to Jesus. Save me, Lord Jesus. I want to know you. God has a plan for your life.